beast mode. Beast mode activated. <laughs> What's good, ladies and gents? You know who it is, Mazda Lane, back at you with another video. And today is episode number nine of the ACL 2 Ironman. And we are on day 153 post ACL reconstruction. And in today's video, we will be talking about my knee pain now to be honest this last week it has just got easier i believe i gave it a deload and you saw that in last week's episode episode number eight more of a you know um less way just going through the motions but also not focusing too much on the quads and, and the the mobility work and things like that so yeah that's what we did uh, last week this week um we are doing more of a strength based session because i believe that the strength based session is ideal feels good my knee thankfully has recovered the two-week deload has got a bit better I haven't been out on the bike yet and in today's episode we are going to this is just one day today's week is just one day I'm gonna be doing leg exercises I've also got my knee consultation later with Mr. Stoddard five months post ACL operation so fingers crossed he's gonna allow us to record and yeah I need to also get my bike tire repaired and then also a few other things so yeah let's let's catch this video and see what we got so this is con con is part of the milev band and uh, basically basically in this week's episode of the acl to iron man yeah we'll be doing all sorts but he, basically con is uh con is basically he does everything he does there's, there's not like one thing that con doesn't do so you can see he has his little workshop here i just wanted to show you this bike Look at that, so he's actually made this and, and created this bike himself. Con, do you want to say hello to the fans? Alright. This is uh, to my YouTube, which I currently have 103 subscribers at the moment, so big shout out to you guys. But yeah, like, Con is going to be coming on us on a few cycles. He, he's already been out on a few cycles with Ewan, and Ewan is, yeah, doing the Ironman with us, and you'll, you'll see him in a few episodes' time. But yeah, once I get my knee sorted, we'll be able to go on cycles with con and hopefully a bit of swimming and a bit of running why not why not why not so uh, yeah we'll take it nice and easy and nice and slow but so over here i'm just recording for my instagram big shout out to the instagram followers because you guys are the og you guys are the og people um who you know started this whole thing because acl to iron man i started on it on youtube but it's, it's easier for me to showcase my exercises and help a lot more people on instagram because of the direct messaging aspect so shout out to you guys and yeah hopefully this you know next five months with the ACL to Ironman will be better. Hopefully, you know, uh, we can start doing a lot more cycling, a lot more running, and a lot more strength-based stuff. So, without further ado, um, I've got this lacrosse stick over here, which I'm just messing around with at the moment. Yeah, I've got a few things to do, so I'll catch you in the next. I'm not sure you can see me, but hopefully we are live. Now, I have my consultation with Mr. Stoddard um, right about now, so I need to go, but he's going to give me a good indication about how I am currently post-operation, five months post-op. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, we're about five months yeah, post uh, ACL recon. 
and um, to be honest, the, the knee has been doing great. Okay. Um, it's 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 uh, you know building strength. Yeah. Um, I've started to run. Good. Um, so yeah, that that that's positive. The only thing that I had, and this is why I sort yeah. of had this um, this this meeting, was basically um, I had a bit of medial pain okay. so on on the side right, of so the, the joint. Line, okay. Yeah. So I, to be honest, when the first when the first time it happened, I was under the impression that. Um, I had done something to my MCL. Okay, that was the first thing that went through my mind. Um, and what what I had was, was was doing it was like a lateral band walk. Yep. Yeah. 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 So so sideways. And um, admittedly, okay, I, I remember I didn't have much sleep that night. And okay. Sleep is you know very important, and it's a lesson that I've now learned. Um, but yeah, I just remember I was moving to the side, and yeah. I just felt a sharp bit of okay. pain over here so that was maybe about two three weeks ago okay um and since then like me and ben have been doing um a deload so oh, yeah yeah, yeah it's just a backtrack just to slow things down a touch yeah exactly yeah. and uh, to be honest yeah the last few days it's been feeling good um okay. i have not been feeling this this pain on no. the side <laughs> that's um, a relief yes yeah i, I know that's, yeah, yeah. that's what i was thinking um and yeah so that, that's why i thought i just i just have the, the discussion so just so you can have a look yeah. into, into it and you know just just see what where like i'm, I'm currently at did you have any swelling at that stage to be honest there was a slight amount okay. of swelling but it didn't go boom. but it didn't go it didn't explode and then your physios put your range of movement was always pretty good you didn't lose any particular range of movement mm -hmm. with that or anything like that good any catching or clicking, anything of that nature? To be honest, no. Okay. No, no. No pain going up your thigh at all? No pain no. going up the thigh, thank you. Yes. Good, good, good. Well, let's, uh, let's cut to the chase and have yes. a proper look at me. So, have you been, been busy yourself? Yeah, right, around is, this yeah, time? Yeah, it is. It's not been bad. Uh, yeah. Have you done, done many ACLs? Yeah, quite a fair number. Although, it would be interesting to see how many people present with them yeah yeah because obviously no one's been playing the sports that's to do true. that's true um i can yeah. you're fortunate that you that you've engaged so much with your physio because mm -hmm. the big worry with lockdowns and face-to-face -face physio and how much rehab is everybody doing yeah yeah particularly after something like you know something like this okay just relax let your quads be yeah. good <sighs> Yes, let's put my mind That's to rest. That's really, yes. I don't care what else is happening. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, no. So where were you sore? So it was just on, on this side here. Side. Yeah, and then there was like occasional pain just, just over there. here. Yeah. Okay, you're okay with that. Yeah, yeah, completely. And you graft. You graft feels absolutely rock solid. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you. Which is no pain going zero. Yeah. And any altered sensation around there at all? Uh, no. Oh, good. Uh, yeah. So there's there's no fluid on there today. Mm -hmm. And you're showing how much bend you've got. Yeah. Yeah. So you're pretty good, aren't you? Yeah. Good. Amazing. Yeah. It is. No, it looks it looks really good. Thank uh, you. So, so what what current stage is my ACL at? Yeah, about so five months. Five months. Good question. So you're not quite out of the woods, mm -hmm. uh, but mostly by six, seven months, you're there or thereabouts. And then it's very much the sport specific type rehab. You know, mm -hmm. what do you want to intend to go back to? And how do we no need to look at not only getting you back as good as you can be, but also trying to prevent a re injury to, to either ACL. Mm -hmm. So by this point, I, you know, your range of movement's full. Mm -hmm. You come lovely and straight, there's no restriction in your extension. And your ACL feels really solid, mm -hmm. really, really solid. Thank you. Um, so, the medial sided pain, things that go through my mind, absolutely, MCL, mm. your medial meniscus or your inside cartilage, maybe even a little a bit of edema within the bone or maybe just a small impact, mm -hmm. you know, between your femur and your tibia. Am I concerned about any of those? I don't think I am. Okay, and the reason I say that, you're not tender over the insertion of your MCL. Okay, mm -hmm. so your MCL inserts onto the inside of your femur and then the top of your shin bone. Mm -hmm. Both of those are, are comfortable. Stressing your MCL in both extension and in about 30 degrees of knee bend doesn't cause you to jump or you know any any discomfort. And your MCL feels stable. Okay, you've got a nice bit of play in your MCL, which is what you want. Yeah. But a definite endpoint and it feels stable. 
Sometimes, even at this stage, you can have a little bit of discomfort from your hamstring harvest site, mm -hmm. which is why I was just checking, make sure you weren't sore up your, up your thigh, mm -hmm. but you're not, and you've not had any bruising come out of your thigh, and you'd be arguably a little bit late for that to happen, but sometimes it can happen. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can get a little bit of altered sensation, a little bit of nerve type pain. You know, there's a nerve that runs with your hamstring tendons that um, sometimes can, uh, can be injured or damaged, or you know, just affects the way it fires, but again, that doesn't seem to be happening. Yeah, um, there's no fluid on the knee as well. I think that's a very important finding. I say to lots of patients, you can fake pain, you can fake a decreased range of movement, but what you can't do is fake fluid on your knee. Mm -hmm. um, the fact you haven't got any fluid on the knee, the minute I looked at your knee, reassured me that your graft was going to be okay, because if you'd re-injured your graft, your knee would have likely ballooned off. Yeah, yeah. Even with a meniscal tear or even a, you know, an impact on the bone, it's likely the knee would be carrying a bit of fluid. That's okay. the way you, your body, if you like, reacts by producing more fluid to cushion the knee. Mm. And, and you haven't got a lot of fluid. So, yeah. so for the time being, I don't think we do need to re-image your knee, having okay. examined you yeah. and listened to what you're saying. It is very common post-ACLs that you get these occasional little tweaks. Mm -hmm. In fact, some you know, elite athletes still get a bit of discomfort or even swelling when they've gone back playing a year, 18 months down the line. Mm -hmm. um, and we've talked about how it doesn't quite give you a normal knee an anatomically, um, and it can give you these odd niggles. But I'm confident at the minute, even if you had a small meniscal tear, if we were to scan you, say, mm -hmm. and you had a, a small cartilage tear, I would still recommend at this stage we'd complete your rehab, you know, get your rehab because anything that interrupts the cycle of the rehab that you're in, mm -hmm. even an arthroscopy, would set you back a number of months mm -hmm. and, and getting back to where you were. So, you know, if you had a big chunk of cartilage that was jamming in your knee, mm -hmm. different scenario, we would need to do something about that, but you would have lost extension. You wouldn't have been able to get the, the knee fully out straight, yeah. which you can do, Amazing. which you can. Yeah. So whilst it's not always easy to say exactly what's caused that flare. Mm -hmm. I, I think we can discount anything we need to rush and do anything about. Obviously, if things get worse or becomes more common, mm -hmm. let me know. But I think gut feeling is, it, hopefully, and hopefully it's just a one-off. Yeah, yeah. You know, and as you get back in your rehab and you know you you, sure. you, you get going, it's and and it's it's like like I said, I know I know we did um, sort of a, a deload session yeah. uh, and, and a few, like maybe uh, ten days to fourteen days of deload. And today, actually, I had my first session when I had weights okay. in, into good. my hands. Okay. And um, to be honest, I, I felt good. I felt okay. strong. I felt like uh, I was back to where I was. So before that, actually, yeah, yeah. So like. It's you know it's a tad frustrating yeah. in in like hindsight you know to start off with because you know I was doing everything that I was Absolutely. supposed to be doing, yeah, yeah. Um, but you know these things are a roller coaster. I've, they I've are, and there, there are ups and downs, yeah. and you've just got to you know take each day as it comes. You know, really yeah. be be patient with. Yeah. Uh, and I always say it's a, it is normal. Lots of patients after ACL get. Mm. Not weird or wonderful symptoms that uh, that suggests you're making them up, which you uh, clearly you're not. It's it, it, symptoms that you can't put a finger on exactly what it is. It's mm. my job then to tell you whether that's something we need to be worried about or whether it's part and parcel of the reconstruction and, and, and what you've been through. And I, I think it is the latter, I truly do. If I had any worries, you'd be going through the scanner over the next 48 hours, which I, I don't feel we need to at this stage. Now, yeah. you know, things may change, we may need to, but. Mm. No, confident having seen you that that, that looks all good. Mm -hmm. And as you say, it's you have to have good weeks. You know, some weeks we think I'm no different. I'm not doing anything more. And then you might have the other week that you get pain and, and you set set back. But mm -hmm. you've done, done entirely the right thing. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it's confidence, isn't it? And you wouldn't have felt if you'd done something nasty to this, something significant. You wouldn't have felt like going back to the weight stuff today. You wouldn't have trusted the knee. Yeah, yeah. A lot of it's confidence, and that's probably more important than anything at the minute. It's just after a slight setback is just build, you build know, taking time. things steady, yeah. not trying to pile the weights on too much, you know, just to build, you know, build your confidence back up in the knee. But mm -hmm. yeah, if, if all my knees have that range of movement to felt that stable at, at this stage. Yeah, well, pleased. that's uh, yeah, very reassuring to yeah. hear. I know, 
it, when, it, when it first happened, okay, and you're always going to try to stay positive in yeah. these situations, but, you know, if you're, if you're like, experiencing a bit of pain or, or yeah, yeah. uncertainty, then, um, then yeah, you know, if your, your, your mind can Correct. start playing, playing tricks Absolutely. on you, and... Um, and it's, it, having this sort of surgery, and someone like yourself, you know, it is a big, it's a big operation, it's, mm. you're highly motivated, and like I say, slowing you down, if anything, will be the issue, but... Because you say so, you know you want the very best out, and you're pushing it and things, you know any tweak, any little niggle you feel, you know, will concern you. And then it's very quick, you know, if you've had a little tweak that your mind starts to to want to think, oh, what have I done? What? So you, you know, oh, yeah, I, I'd say you've done entirely the right thing. Thank you. Yeah. Everything looks good, but you know, if anything changes over the next week or two, pick the phone up. You know, that's yeah, yeah. That's what I'm here for. But no, amazing. Yeah. No, I'm pleased to have. Uh, Please, I've seen you. Please, I've had a wiggle at ACL because I'm really pleased with that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, basically, I forgot to make an outro after my consultation, so I'm making this video a few days afterwards. Now, fantastic news, fantastic news from uh, Mr. Stoddard. He, he basically gave me that reassurance that I needed after my uh, slight medial pain. So, you know, since then, uh, my medial pain has gone down, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited now to really step up my game in terms of my training for the Ironman because I was having a look at some videos, and I'm not gonna lie to you the Ironman 70.3 is not easy having never done a triathlon before um, everyone says we need to have a benchmark when it comes down to the swimming we need to do about a thousand meters swimming and running you know we've got to do a lot of activity and that's just for the base mark for us to start training for the Ironman we've got about five months and a half left and you know now I'm gonna really gonna start ramping up so uh, I'm gonna be throwing videos at you thick and fast and hopefully you know next episode we're going to get a lot more involved in the rehab and you know just keep working up that training uh, because i still want to get sport specific as well as well as the, the iron man prep and you know i'm ready to go so if you like this video give me a, a thumbs up because you know that really does make a difference i'm not gonna lie to you um i do appreciate every single one of you who do like my videos um and um yeah like it keeps motivating me to make more videos i'm loving this journey so far so regardless of of all you know the support that i'm getting um i'll be making videos because i really like doing it so um and it's a big challenge as well big challenge i need to keep myself accountable so without further ado i will catch you in the next episode